Well, good morning and welcome in to the Brotherhood Sports Podcast. My name is Nick, the host for the podcast. Looking forward to talking with you today and getting to know you a little bit better uh, also. Before we get started, um, just give me a brief introduction about yourself and then we'll jump right into these questions I have for you. Okay, I just want to start by saying thank you for having me here. You're welcome. Um, I'm Jace Jackson. I'm going to be raised in Pittsburgh. <clears throat> um, I attend Luella High School this senior, and I'm a middle infielder. He's there. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for that. And yeah, I'm looking forward to jumping in these questions. And again, excuse my voice, trying to get through this here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So take me through your recruiting process. Like, just walk me through, you know, obviously you're committed to to Pitt and just kind of how was that for you and your family? Because, you know, what we've learned here is, you know, especially in the softball ranks there, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. Um, so just kind of walk me through that process for you and your family. Um, I would say the recruiting process was pretty, like, fun and exciting. You know, you work, like, so hard throughout the year mm. to get to this point. So, so to me, <clears throat> I had – I was fortunate enough to have, like, many coaches reach out to me. Yeah. And I went on visits. And when I went to Pitt, like, I, like, knew that was my school. Like, it just felt right. Like, I loved it. Awesome. And, yeah, that's – and I know sometimes, uh, you know, that's what we get. You know, people – like people think it sounds cliche, but it really is true. Like you'll know, you know, when you kind of know there. Um, and, and obviously that's the way it was for you there. Yeah. Um, so now kind of take me through what kind of keeps you motivated. Daily. I know everybody has different motivating factors in their life, you know, for why they work hard or even why they get up every day to, to do things. Um, so what is that for you? What keeps you working hard, whether it's in school or on the field? What is that for you? Um, I would say my mom, because she always like, get things done and she works mm. hard and so like seeing her work hard makes me want to work hard and be better whether that's in like school or life softball and like anything is obtainable like if you work hard and do right and I mean for one it's always so good to have those people in your life that you can look to for that example you know of yeah. whether it's hard work or just just aspiring to be a good person or whatever it is you know so thank you for that so now I want to ask you something I talk a lot about on this podcast here. Um, and that's kind of the mental side of everything. Um, mm -hmm. Because playing sports at a high level, as, as you do, that comes with pressure or stress. or I mean, obviously, everyday life does too. But yeah. there's more added to it when you're playing a sport at a high level. So how important would you say the mental health side of things are for you? Um, mental health is really important because um, my coach always says, like, softball is a game of failure. Like, you're oh, not yeah. big. So you really have to be positive, like always speak positive things to yourself and try to like be uplifting to others, to yourself, because it's really hard. Like once you're like in a hole, like it's really hard. Yeah, definitely. And, and, and that's right. And obviously, I guess that's one of those things that easier said than done sometimes, because, you know, once you, you know, whether it's especially say through a season, you know, like there's so many ups and downs through a season of whatever sport it is. And, and this one's softball. Um, so sometimes you kind of do feel like everything was just you know, coming crashing down on you, whatever, but to stay positive and have those people around you, kind of like you talked about with your mom there, um, your support system there. So now <clears throat> let me ask you, and this could be on the field or off the field. Mm -hmm. um, what is something for you that you've really been trying to maybe focus on a little bit more and really trying to improve lately? Um, I would say my hitting because I'm a slapper. So I'm just, <clears throat> I'll, I'm down in the hole. I'll slap instead of swinging away. So just being confident in my swing away. Because I try okay. to be a professional hitter, so. Gotcha. Gonna... So, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, yeah, I was just saying, just working on my swing. So has that been, because I've talked with people <clears throat> that are trying to do that more, like going from slapping just mainly and then, you know, like actually hitting and everything. Has, has that been a hard transition for you going from one to the other? Um, I wouldn't say it was hard. It's just like, again, like being confident. Because I would swing mm -hmm. times, but I want to include that more in my in my game. <clears throat> Yeah, definitely. And I, I, I'll bet, especially when you get to college, you know, that's going to be something <clears throat> that your coach can be like, hey, we can call on her for, <clears throat> you know, a variety of things there. So now, you know, we talked about something you want to work on. What would you say, and this can change throughout your playing career, and it probably will, mm -hmm. but what is something when you step onto the field, what would you say is one of your biggest strengths that you kind of bring to a team? I would say I take really good pride in my fielding. Like, I'm a really good fielder. Um, and I would say – um, a leader, like I'm good at leading. Okay, awesome. Well, and for one, 
obviously fielding and defense. You know, I think sometimes people forget about that part of things because they want to be the, you know, whether it's home runs or getting on base or stealing bases or whatever else it is, because that scores runs, obviously. Yeah. But, you know, I, I've wa- I watched a softball game recently in person, and I've seen really, especially by a shortstop and third baseman, it was incredible defense by them. And, and it was just so fun to watch because I'm that kind of person. I love watching that and mm-hmm. defense working together. So I like that a lot. And speaking of being a leader, I think that's really great too, that that's one of your, your kind of strong suits right now, because, you know, you may be, you know, cause you're going to go learn from, especially when you get to college, you may be, there may be fifth year seniors, you know, when you get there to kind of learn under and everything else. And I think that's really cool that you're adding that now. So now, before I get to the last part, I want to ask you just about what's going on in your life um, now and what you're kind of looking forward to. I think, I know you said, uh, so I think you, did you graduate the other day? Yeah, I graduated on Saturday. Okay. Yeah. I see, I've seen that on your, I think, social media there. So kind of walk me through that because obviously we talk a lot about sports, but also, you know, graduation and school. Um, so take me through how, how you kind of feel now since you're graduated and just kind of what, what you're looking forward to. Yeah, it feels good to be graduated. I'm, like, excited for summer ball coming up. We play in, like, three weeks now. Okay, yeah. So I'm excited for that. And then just going to pay, of course. Yeah. Awesome. And now, it's, and, and I don't know if you feel this way, but you may can talk into this. A lot of people have told me, you know, after they have committed um, to their school, they can go and have fun and, and just really play the game. And now, obviously, you got – you graduated – you know, you're committed to Pitt and you got a summer full of travel ball. So how is that, how exciting is that going to be? You know, after you kind of got these things, obviously you still want to work hard to get to Pitt and, and to, to show your coaches that they can trust you. But how is that for you now that you've committed, graduated, and you're just ready to go play ball? Yeah, it feels like a, a chip has been lifted off my shoulder. Yeah. Where it's like I still have to work hard and go hard every single day in practice, but it's less pressure, of course. Awesome. Well, thank you for that. And that's, you know, what we've had that echoed a lot. I actually had somebody write me the other day that I've kept in touch with that we've interviewed um, a while back. And she told me the same thing literally about how she's ready for the summer to just go have fun and obviously still work hard, but just did not have that just thing, you know, hanging over you. Yeah. Um, so that's awesome there. So now I'll get to the uh, portion where I call the fun part here. Um, has nothing to do with softball. I just want to get to know you a little bit more. And I'm going to ask these kind of rapid fire style here. Favorite movie? Um, Princess and the Frog. I okay, gotcha. It. Classic, classic. <laughs> what about if you could have one superpower, what would you choose? I would say talking to animals. I love okay. it. Okay, awesome. That's awesome. That, I, that, you know, reminds me, what was that movie? Dr. Doolittle, I think it was. Oh, yeah, yeah. And like Eddie Murphy, that was awesome. So, yeah. Sorry, I know I'm a little older than you, so I may do references. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Um, what about a go-to, like, what are you turning on to get ready for a game? What's a pump-up song for you? Really anything by, by Drake. I love Drake. Okay, gotcha. Now, what about who is somebody, you know, you can say your favorite athlete or just somebody you maybe respect in the game, you look up to. This can be past or present. Now, it can be male or female, too. Um, okay. Who is that for you? Um, I would say Alex Hugo. She played at Georgia, like, some years back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. That, okay, awesome. Well, thank you. Um, so, yeah, uh, last one I got for you. Favorite time of year? Summer. Because, yeah, like, I want to tell you, most softball players have said that. So, <laughs> yeah, summer. I mean, you can't really beat that. I mean, traveling and playing and everything like that. Wait, right, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. I was just saying the weather's just better, nice in the summer. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for that. Well, speaking of weather, um, so where are you based out of right now? Georgia. Okay. Like, so, <laughs> You're about to go a long way away. Yes. Uh, very- to, <laughs> to Pittsburgh, where the weather is kind of not the same as in Georgia. So, how are you feeling about that? Um, I mean, I'm not like too excited about the weather because it's like a huge difference. It's yeah. up, I've never seen snow in my life, so it's going to be different. But I'm excited. Yeah, I remember actually I was in a uh, or not in, but I was at a wedding on New. It was New Year's, um, New Year's Eve, I think, and it was in Pittsburgh. Literally almost downtown. You can see downtown, and it was it was really cold. I mean, obviously, but it wasn't snowing. But I remember walking out, and it started snowing. You know, and I'm like, oh man. And then like the next morning, wake up to drive home because we had dr- driven there, and it was covered. You know, yeah. and, and of course I'm from the south too, so like you know we get a little snow here and there, but nothing like that. And I, it was like up to here, <laughs> and I'm like, you know, so hey, good luck with that. Thank you. <laughs> Mate, thank you so much uh, for talking with me today. I love getting to know you. I can't wait to 
post this, let everybody get to know you too. So thank, thank you and have a great rest of your day. Thank you, you too. You're welcome. See you. Bye.